So in front of me, I have a really awesome tree here. This is a swamp chestnut oak or Quercus mishoxii. This tree is uh, here in central in Florida, central Florida. It occurs in kind of the central and northern part of the peninsula. This tree is found in upland hardwood forests and hammocks that are um, moist hammocks and like bottomland adjacent areas that generally have rich soils and are have limestone near the surface. So it's kind of a niche thing where it's natural distribution. So I'm currently in North Brookville right now in the historic like Nudaliga hammock area. Um, this area has both of those things, limestone very close to the surface and rich soils. Um, and these trees are pretty common in this local area. Uh, Quercus mishoxii is a full-size forest tree. This is a deciduous oak, so it's not like a live oak. It doesn't keep its leaves most of the year and then dump them in the fall or, or dump them in the spring. It dumps them in the fall like most of your regular deciduous species. It has this really interesting bark pattern that is common in a lot of other oaks in different parts of the country, but here in Florida, this is it's pretty distinct. It's this like plated looking bark when it gets when they get mature. This particular tree that's in front of me is probably, um, I'd say it's probably 80 feet tall, 70 or 80 feet tall. This is not an old tree. It's probably, you know, in the 50 year age class, something like that, 40, 50 years, maybe less. It's hard to tell around here. The soils again are very rich. Trees grow fast here. Um, but again, I'm gonna walk over here. There's another, slightly larger tree over here adjacent to it and get a look at the foliage these trees make a huge acorn there's the leaves it has like this kind of sawtooth a serrated edge on the leaf and they're a little bit fuzzy but the uh the acorns are like I mean, they're big. They're like bigger than a quarter. They're the biggest acorn that I that I know of in Florida that I've seen. I, I know white oaks have big acorns, but uh, swamp chestnut oaks make huge acorns. They have a really low tannin level. And when the acorns are dropping in the fall, usually they drop here like sometime around in November. Um, this is... This is like the most preferred type of acorn for, for any of the wildlife. I mean, the deer and the turkey and squirrels and everything will go nuts for these acorns. I mean, I've seen them, they like almost like guard them when they're dropping and they will drop abundantly. Um, again, it's fully deciduous. It likes moist soils. It's a very long lived tree. Its growth habit is much more like, you know, your like more like a hickory or a sweet gum or something like that. It tends to be large apical dominant, not like a live oak necessarily. So, but they get the very long lived trees. Wood is hard, heavy wood, just like most of your oak species. This is again, this is a little bit larger one here. And you can see it has that same plated bark pattern. So again, if you're anywhere in the central northern or northern part of the state and you have some moist soils, you know, moist, more moist areas, this is an excellent tree to plant. You know, I think it's really just a really beautiful tree, has really interesting foliage, you know, lets some light through, unlike a live oak. And the acorns and the mass that it makes is really preferred by the wildlife and again also by people too people have used this tree to make uh, acorn flour and stuff like that the native americans did for a long time and it was one of the preferred trees to do so um so 
you know, if you were trying to manage land, you know, plant something to attract large game, this is, these trees are ideal. You know, again, deer and turkeys really, really like this plant when it's dropping its acorns. Um, again, I think these trees, they're hard to find nursery stock for. They're very difficult to find nursery stock, good nursery stock. They're big taproot dominant hardwoods like you would see for most of your, um, most of your hardwood species like that are adapted to these type of environments. They're, they're not, it's hard to find good potted trees of this species. Um, I think that you can grow them from acorns easily. Like you get out here in the fall and pick up some acorns. They sprout rapidly and they grow pretty fast, particularly in like in this area, you know, in the areas where they're naturally found tend to have rich soils anyway, and they grow quickly. But I think they would do great on my site where I live is a little too dry and I don't really have the room for it or else I would plant one too. <laughs> But again, any kind of bottomland, wetland adjacent areas or historic hammocks, you know, I think they're just a fantastic tree and you can build up diversity in different types of mast. So you got your hickories, you know, oaks, different types of oaks. And I think they're just, they're really, really beautiful tree and long lived. So again, it's a swamp chestnut oak, Quercus meshoxii. Check it out.